Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been sharing a lot of sweet videos lately, so I thought I'd share a savory one. Today I'll be making my salmon frittata. Only requires a few ingredients, so and it's also really quick to put together. So I have here some mushrooms. I have cremini mushrooms, a third of a zucchini, some potatoes, eggs, shallots, some garlic, and some sun-dried tomatoes. And for spices, I have some salt, pepper, some dill, paprika, olive oil, and some milk for the eggs. And then we have about 400 grams of salmon. So I'm starting here with about 10 to 12 potatoes, but I only used about eight or so. You're gonna get about a cup and a half worth of thinly sliced potatoes. You can use a larger potato as well. I just had many potatoes, so this is what I worked with. Then you're gonna cube the zucchini just into small cubes. And same for the mushroom. You should get about a cup's worth of each of the veggies. Then we're just gonna chop up a shallot. You should get about a quarter cup's worth and then just roughly chop up the three cloves of garlic. So I microwave the potatoes for about two minutes just to speed up the cooking process. And then I rinse them and drain them. And now if you have a tea towel here, it's optional, but this really helps the potatoes get nice and crispy just to squeeze out any moisture if there is any um, as best you can from the potatoes and then just break it up like this. And then the salmon, we're just gonna season this uh, with some salt and pepper and some dill on both sides. Now in a pan I have about a teaspoon of olive oil and we're just going to sear the salmon on a medium high heat on both sides for about two minutes. Now the intention here is not to fully cook it because we are going to break it up and cook it again under the broiler in the egg frittata mixture. So now we're just going to turn off the heat after about two minutes on each side and then just start breaking it up. You'll see that it's a little bit raw inside, but don't worry about it because we will cook it under the broiler later. Now I have another teaspoon of olive oil in the pan. To this, we're gonna add the potatoes and basically cook out any extra moisture that's in it on a medium heat. And then we'll add our spices in it's going to be some pepper, some salt, the paprika, and then the dill. So I've cooked this for about two to three minutes. Then we're gonna raise the heat back up to medium high and then add in our veggies. So the cups worth of mushrooms and zucchini and then our shallots and garlic. Into this, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're gonna add our seasonings. This is based on preference. You can use other seasonings if you like, but this works really well with the ingredients we have today. And then I also added some cayenne pepper for some spice. And it looks like a lot in the pan, but it does cook down and should turn into a golden brown color. I just lowered the heat, and now we're gonna add in the sun-dried tomatoes. This really makes a difference in the dish. Um, it has tons of flavor and goes really well with the salmon. So I added about six to eight pieces here, and really towards the end just to warm it up. At this point, I'll turn on the oven for the broiler to be set at 500 Fahrenheit. Then we'll just start pressing down in the pan just to get everything packed and then add the salmon on top. Okay. 
Now to this, I've whisked up the three eggs and added about two tablespoons of milk, and then you'll just pour this over evenly in the pan. You should get something like this. Then I'm gonna add some cheese. I just had some slices of cheese, but you can add some shredded cheese that'll just crisp up nicely under the broiler. And this will go in for about two and a half minutes. Keep a close eye on it, because it can burn pretty quick. It should have a golden brown crispy top. And we'll just let this rest for about five minutes before we transfer it to a plate. So it should slide out pretty easily. Or I was just lucky here. And voila, your salmon frittata serves up to three people. And you can have it plain, or I like to add some avocado slices and a dash of balsamic vinegar, just for some extra flavor. But this frittata on its own is packed with tons of flavor with the sun-dried tomatoes, the zucchini, and the mushrooms and can be enjoyed at any time of the day. Hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned for more.